Uh, tell me about this project that caught the attention of the Toronto International Film Festival. Way, the creators of this project are 28 students from Gananoque Intermediate Secondary School. It's the grade 7 8 class, language class taught by Doug Bowlby. Uh, one of the students in that class is a 13 year old girl named McKenna Modler. She was diagnosed with brain cancer. She was 10 years old, and shortly after that diagnosis, rather than doing what, you know, all kinds of things she could have been doing, uh, she began raising money for families of, uh, of cancer patients um, to help with various unexpected expenses such as parking and hotels. Uh, so she now has a recognized charity called McKenna's Dream. Um, so when it came time for the class to choose a topic for their media project, uh, student Gabby Sabrango said they all agreed, I mean, really, uh, we have this amazing person in our midst, let's do it on her. How did they actually go about doing it? Well, I stopped in to meet with the class, but before I did that, I watched the video on YouTube. Uh, I was somewhat surprised to see it was done in animation. It's not, you know, a straight profile of modeler, as you might expect. So the first thing I noticed in the classroom is they have a series of hand-drawn pictures on the walls, kids, adults, activities. Um, and student Landon Summers explained all the students drew a certain number of them for their storyboard, and those are what make up the video. That's how you do animation. And you also need a copy stand. That's something you uh, put a camera on. Well, Doug Bowlby, the teacher, said that would have cost several hundred dollars. Twelve-year-old Tyrell Grant and several other students built their own copy stand. So pretty <laughs> impressive stuff. I love it. Maker <laughs> movement lives. Okay, um, w will the video be seen as part of the film festival then? Well, at this point, it's been nominated uh, to be shown. Bowlby uh, and the students told me there's a selection process done ahead of the festival and uh, with projects from other schools. So there's a screening held at a special theatre in Toronto next month. I think it's on the 17th. A number of these types of, uh, of projects will be shown. Bowlby's class is attending the event. And after that, they'll find out if, if their video was, in fact, uh, chosen. I asked um, McKenna what she thinks about the project. Well, she said she's thrilled uh, that her classmates chose to do it. And two of the voices on the animation are cancer survivors that she met during her many months of, of chemotherapy. So the class figures that regardless of whether it's chosen to be part of the film festival way, it's already done extremely well. And they're, they're telling people, just watch it on YouTube, McKenna's Dream, because it's it really is very good. Oh, we'll definitely put a link on our webpage later so people can check it out. Thanks, JC. Thank you, Wayne. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye.